Hello, it's Dr. Abstract at Zim Kids, and I'd like to take you on a tour of the site. So down below here, we have our tutorials, and we'll check those out in a minute. We can get badges. There's more tutorials as well, with fun bugs and things to make. And there's also Slate, where you can make your own scenes. Zim is on the canvas, and is very colorful. As you can see here, here are a lot of examples of things that were made with Zim and even more and more and more. So Zim is often used to make kids apps and games and therefore it's a great place to learn how to code because it's very colorful. <laughs> Yay, great for left and right brain learners. So why don't we go into one of these? How about the bugs? Oh, there's bugs with sugar. Oop. So there's a little bug, and it has three levels. Level 1, level 2, level 3. <laughs> Here's the bug looking at the levels. We can press on the bug and it stops moving. Now we look at the code section right here, and it tells us what code we need to type over here on the right to be able to make that bug. There are steps in the code, 1, 2, and 3, and there's also more info here which tells you even more information. Let's go back to the bug. Here's the bug. Whee! In level two and three, we can see that the bug, oh, collects some sugar. Oh, yay! Okay, so how would we do that? Over on the right-hand side, you can type code. So this is JavaScript, which is the world's most popular language. And we can do something like new circle. We can say how big it is, 50, and its color. Our bug is yellow. Looks like our bug has a little border around it, and so that's the next one. We can make that a dark border of two. Now, to see that, we would dot center that on what we call the stage over here, and test. Oh, there's our bug. We made it a little bit big. <laughs> no, well, we could make it smaller. We could drag the bug around if we wanted to with dot drag. And so this is coding that we're using. Those are methods and we test and now we can drag the bug. But we had the bug follow the, the mouse or your finger. So instead of dragging it, we'll do something different. We'll store it in a variable. And this is JavaScript. Variables are used in code. And we go through all that in the earlier tutorials. So here is a car. <laughs> Here's a bar for variable. And we'll call it bug is equal to this circle. So that's basically saying the, the circle is a bug. And to make it follow the cursor, we can make a new motion controller like that and pass in the bug while we do our mouse move like so and let's have a look oh there it is now it's following the mouse super but what if we press on it and we want a reward let's make that emitter that we saw earlier okay <laughs> this is gonna go way over here so to press on it we can say bug dot on mouse down and we will call a function reward there we go. And here's where we'll make the function reward. A function does something. And this function is going to make a new emitter like that. And we will dot locate that emitter at the bug like that. And we'll spurt it, dot spurt. If we put it at the bug, it would just keep on emitting and emit and emit and emit. And that's that's all those little particles that are coming out. So if we say dot spurt, then it will only do, uh, how many do we want? 20. Yay. Okay, let's try it. So here we test. And when I press on it, oh, there go 20 little particles. Yay. So this is what it's like making things with Zim. Zim is so easy and so colorful, it just sounds like you're almost talking to it. But we treat what we do as magic. And so here is some information on display objects. These are things that we can see, like the circle, and a button for pressing, and the different parts of the code. So this is a little like a textbook in here. And there's about parameters and functions. These are the things that we use. 
Ooh, spells. Ooh. So we treat them as spells, and there's a whole list of spells that we can get right from spells. There's also Slate. Slate is a place where you can make things uh, whatever you want. And there's also examples, many examples of things that have been made with Zim. There's some shapes and you can see in, in the code right here how we did that. So there's a circle and a rectangle and a triangle. You can even move this code over to your editor and change things and test. So if we wanted a purple background, purple, that's the color, and we test, and now it's purple in the background. There's all sorts of assets that we can bring in to backing. So if we wanted all of that to happen on a beach, we can save that. And now we can say new pick is a beach like this, beach zero two, I think that was, as it says here, beach zero two, and we'll dot center that on the stage. And let's have a look. Now these shapes are on the beach. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay, maybe we don't want them on the beach. So that is called slate and you can get badges. So you can get badges for making a small game or a puzzle or working with data or making art or a card for your friends or family. And how about an app even? So those are making badges. And once again, you would make those badges in Slate. So here's what you're trying to make. And it gives you hints on how to make them. And then you put the code over on this side to do that. And get a badge. Woohoo! So here is all of the all of the spells that we're using, the various parts of, of coding, variables, functions, loops, events, conditionals, containers, arrays, and objects. And so anytime you code, you use those things. And Zim just makes it very colorful and very easy to do. We would love it if you come on in and learn to code with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Have a great day. And here's Pragma, and they say hi too. Bye-bye.